All right, just a small job today. We've got this 18 meter, 60 foot thing. We call it, it's an 18 meter signature. It's fully strong, right? 80 to 10, works a treat. But I'm gonna put these shock absorbers, this is heavy shock cord, on kite knots, all right? Yeah, that'd be all right. <laughs> so most of the time there'll be zero shock until the wind blows hard and then yeah, it'll start to take it up. I've been playing ball with Django and uh and then he disgraced himself by barking at another dog which he seems to do quite often although we met a dog on holiday and he was he was quite happy with that dog so yeah, whatever right this way oh boy leave i'm quite happy with it swaying but the trouble is with this mass grant is zero giving it it's like dead stop so if you got one blow one way, one blow the other way, get a bit of a shock. So let's investigate how we're going to do this. So I think we put it there. It's blowing a bit of a gale, so I have to be careful and do this in between gusts. I mean, it should be all right. Now, there's probably an official name for that, but I call it a kite knot. Because I can always get it undone, you know, another day. Yeah, go back here. Okay, I'm liking that. Now I've got to undo this butterfly knot here. This is called an alpine butterfly, look. They're easy to tie. Uh, and they look nice as well. And I need to cut this out. I actually ran out of rope because I cocked up, but that is called a fisherman's knot. So I'm going to come through our little carabiner here. Oh, nice. So, I'm going to make a little alpine butterfly here. So, I go, you go basically go over three times, take the outside one, put it back in the middle, and take the outside one, put it all the way around. Easy when you know how. That'll give me a little tension. Two to one pulley. Oh, I can feel the. I can feel it working already, this is nice. So, what do you think, Callum? Just to know more. Just done a little half hitch here for the time being. I will actually go around again with that. Um, I find that quite easy. Then we've just got a knot knot, whatever that's called. Then my little kite knot, and then up we go into the sun. So that will give us, yeah, quite a lot of stretch. Oh yeah, at the moment we're pulling over to our left. Oh, okay, well, let's continue the job. All right, that's number two sorted. I'll just cut the extra length there. Yeah, okay, that's good. We'll come back and uh, sort it out in a minute. I'll just do number three and then I'm going to give you a tour of the antenna field and tell you what I'm going to change. Because apart from like, we've got 160 meter dipole to put up. Well, I'm going to make it a fan dipole, 80, 160. The really big job is the tower, which is uh, behind me over there. You see the three element, the two element Yagi on the top. We're going to double the size of the boom, make it six meters long, put three elements on it and that will be another 20, 30 foot higher again, put another scaffold pole. So that's going to be huge. And uh, above it, we'll put the remnants of that, but we'll make it 15 meters. All right, so it'll be a 15 meter uh, two element above it, pointing on the same rotator. On a separate rotator, just over here somewhere, 
we're going to put four elements on 10 meters. So when we're multi two, we can have people on 20, 15, 10, whatever else. We've got 80 here, of course, uh, on this thing here, I'm sorting out. And, uh, and then we've got the four square on 40 and then 160 meter, which will be a horseshoe shape right around the field here. Oh my goodness, let me, uh... oh, <laughs> I've got too much tension now. Oh my goodness. I, I definitely need some twang on uh, my side here and also to tension up over there on the left by the look of it oh, let me get a move on because i'm waffly what i don't want to do is lose this antenna because i've been chatting on the video you know so hang on all right back you come okay <laughs> So we'll eyeball the mast and see what needs to be loosened, what needs to be tightened. Okay, so on average it's been pulled over to the right so we can slack off this one over here. So I still want it kind of loose, but only when the big wind hits it will the shock absorbers come into effect. Uh, slacken off, I said. That's 50 mil, two inches. All right, now I can back off the original one over, over there, the first one. Just a whisker, you know. And I'm running out of blooming cord here. We'll have to replace that. Looks like it's been pulled over, you know, on the, the right-hand side. But the wind's blowing that way. I have to, <laughs> have to wander around and determine, on average, you know what it is. Cause it's all on, uh, it's all on doingy doingy, huge stuff. By the way, there's a lot of people I'm sure are going to say, "Oh, you should have put a stopper nut or not a stopper rope between the bottom and the top of the shock cord." Well, I can tell you that is, I think, 12 mil shock cord, which is infinitely going to be more reliable than a two or three mil piece of, of cord. I just wouldn't worry about it. It'd be fine. Okay. Django, come. Come. Django, come. Sit. Good. Lie down. Good. I'm trying to see flame or smoke or... Ah, that's it. Perfecto. So now, oh shit! <laughs> now I've bloody come over. Oh, I don't know whether I should tension it up more. All right. So what's coming up? Well, we've got the huge tower project. I've bought a winch for this thing. Right. Uh, Twelve volts. Uh, just I've got a couple of spare gel batteries you know leisure batteries so we're able to pop the tower up and down on on battery power and we're going to extend it so it's going to be uh nearly 60 feet 60 foot tower we'll put a three element homebrew six meter boom for 20 meters and above that we'll have a two element in fact we'll repurpose what is up there right now and make that into 15 meters so there's a lot of fun and games there that project starts in about two weeks time in the meantime We've just built the nebula, the 18 meter here. Next to it, we've got this vertical tribander, which I will explain next time. That's coming down, we're putting that up on 18 as well. And then I've got to get John, the site manager, to drag my hydraulic tower in, and we'll put um, a four element 10 meter beam on that as well. And finally, we've got a fan dipole for 160 and 80 meters right across the back here, as high as we can. Get it up for 160. So it kind of covers everything. I think we're left with one antenna port over here, which will mean I'm thinking of putting um, a beverage for one, well, 160 meters. The low band, Django, this way. The low band beverage will go right down here. I don't know if it should be on the ground or up high. I haven't worked it out yet. But uh, if I face it about 270, we'll get long path VK. And we'll get um, 
you know us not right north up to alaska because that is literally beamy north but give us a wide a single beverage will give us a wide path there and of course we've got the four square which i'm just about to commission so please stay in touch with the channel because a ton of great stuff happening and i think you're going to enjoy it uh in the meantime i'm going to go back inside fiddle with my radio because i'm technically still on holiday and i'll see you all soon <laughs> okay so all the best now bye for now